companies using drones and 3D technology to harden homes against wildfires. John Ramos shows us how they do it. The Tubbs fire in 2017 changed Bill Dyer's mind about living in a house in the middle of the woods. If we thought that was a cool thing, uh, once you've been through these fires, looking out your window and seeing trees has a different impact. So Bill cleared a defensible space around the house, but when the glass fire burned right up to his driveway, he decided he needed professional help and turned to a new company called Fire Maps. They use drones to create a three-dimensional image of the property that shows in minute detail the conditions of the home and the surrounding tree canopies. And from that, we're able to create a prioritized list uh, of treatments that would best help their reduce their fire risk. Fire Maps co-founder Sharuk Khanna says work is underway to trim Bill's trees, removing dead branches that can act as kindling. They also swapped out the eave vents for ones that can seal up under high heat. And Fire Maps found this wall grate that could allow burning embers directly into the house. It's not in the field of view. It's not usually something you are aware of as a homeowner of how many vents do I have, what kind of vents do I have, what kind of meshes on them. The homeowner gets a detailed list of recommendations, including immediate fixes and those that can be phased in over several years. But scheduling contractors can be a difficult task, so Fire Maps helps find companies to do the work, saving the homeowner time and the contractor money by using the 3D rendering. Which allows contractors to then look at and bid on the project without having to show up on site. And perhaps the best thing about Fire Maps is its price. It's free to homeowners. The cost is borne by the contractors for getting more work. Bill still has his own work to do, but he says he's come to appreciate living in woods that are not quite so thick. When I look out this direction, it's more, it's, it's more park-like. It's a managed forest, and um, that's what it needs to be.